when I saw this one release, the first thing that popped in my head was, Christina, you don't have purple. video day guys and happy make up your mind day so for today's video we're gonna be doing a new make up your mind because there was a brand new release that just got announced from ColourPop that when I saw it I kind of went hmm this could be a fun one to do make up your mind on it's called the making mauves palette and it looks just like this and it's gonna be 14 US dollars it's actually released right now on the ColourPop website so if you guys are interested in this I am gonna link it down below but in this video, what I do is try not to buy it. So if you guys are new to this type of series, usually what I do here is I try to look through my collection to see if I can recreate an eyeshadow palette with the current items that I have in my collection. So I look through all my eyeshadow palettes and I try to see if this new palette is really worth it for me to pick up. The reason I started doing this video was because I just started to notice I was buying so many eyeshadow palettes and then just sticking to like two or three and it was just the hype of an eyeshadow palette that really made me want to buy it. So by doing this practice what I usually do is sit back for a minute, look through my collection, swatch the entire color story on my arm and actually decide for myself do I really want this palette and am I going to use these colors looking at the color story like do I really want to use this so this has helped me save a lot of money and I know a lot of you guys have said that it's helped you save a lot of money too so I'm super happy that you guys enjoy this video but I do have to say that for anybody who is new here and is wondering like what what are you what are you doing so that is what I'm doing so if you guys are ready we're gonna get right into it right now. All right, so first thing, the eye look that I have on right now is an eye look that you could probably create if you purchase the new color pop one. In order to create this eye look, I did use all the colors that I'm going to be pointing out to you guys that I feel are similar to the ones inside of the new color pop palette. So let's start off with showing you guys my results. So here are my results. I will say some of these colors I didn't find exact. Some of them are maybe a little bit off. Using the colors that I selected in here, I can create very similar eye looks. And I feel like this palette is one of those palettes like if you like love mauves and that's all you like to wear in your eyes and you just want that all mauvish looking eyeshadow palette, this may be like your dream palette. But if you, if you like to mix mauves with other colors, like maybe you like to put it with browns or you like to just use two different colors of mauves, this may be an over exaggeration of mauves for you. I do feel like some of the colors that they selected were maybe a little too close in hue. Like I would have liked a little bit more variation in here from what I was seeing from the swatches and when I was pulling from my collection, I kind of went like, okay, okay. So let me first show you guys the palettes that I used. So the first palette that I used was from Dose of Colors. The second palette is this one right here from Huda Beauty and it's the Mauve Obsessions. I also jumped into two different palettes that I have in one palette. So if you guys know, in this Makeup Geek palette, I actually combined it. My two Viseart Edit palettes, I have the Paris Edit here on the top and the Dark Edit here down here. So those two palettes I did have to jump into and that's it. So I did have to jump into four different palettes. I will tell you that I do feel like some of these palettes have like overlapping colors that I could have jumped from either one. But let's start off with the first color. So the first color I did jump into the palette that I don't, I honestly don't hardly use this palette like at all. I've almost decolored this palette like 10 times. I don't know why. I don't really love this palette. I feel like it's very powdery. I did use a lot of the colors for the eye look I have on today, but like I said, very powdery, very powdery formula. Not a huge fan of it. I just haven't gotten rid of it because I feel like I paid good money for it and I, I want to like use it, you know? So mm, that's why I still have it. What I did was jump into this color here in the middle. Now this color has a very similar hue to the one that I'm looking at in the ColourPop palette. Now I am going to also tell you guys, in the Paris edit, there's also another color that looks very similar to this one. So I do feel like this tone, I have this tone like across different palettes. I also feel inside the Carly Bible palette there's a color that looks really similar to this one I literally was swatching like all three of these next to each other and going well which one do I want to use and I just went with the mauve obsessions because there was more colors in here that I could reference to other colors but this color I found it a lot so that color to me I kind of own it in a few different palettes down the line. So the next one, what I had to do is I went into my Viseart Dark Edit and I jumped into this color right here. So it is this really dark purplish tone. I feel like the color pop one might be a little hair darker or like a little less purple, but looking at multiple different swatches of the color pop one, I almost like feel like 
once you blend this, this is gonna look really similar. So I feel like that color, I have it, but I don't only have it in the Viseart Dark Edit. I also found it in some other palettes. And I do use both of those colors. Both of those colors are used colors by me. So I, I like the first two hues. If we keep going, the next one I actually jumped into my Mauve Obsessions palette, which I actually feel like this palette right here has a few similar tones to the one that's releasing from ColourPop. Not every single one, this is going a little bit of a different direction, but there is a few hues in here that I did jump into. So what I did was jump into this color right here in the center, and I feel like ColourPop and Huda Beauty had a very similar idea of the type of brown tone that they wanted to use in order to mix with these more plummy tones. And this is the perfect color. It's like a tan, but it has a purple undertone to it. Very, very pretty. I do own it. And now this color is another color I have seen in a few of my other palettes. I like this tone. I do feel like I own it. And like I said, need to use these palettes up. I mean, they're going to expire eventually. So I've got to use the ones that I have. That tone's very pretty. Do feel like I have it. So the next one is one that I am pretty... Did I find you? I feel like I may have close enough found. So if we go into the Paris edit, it's this tone right here at the end. It's like a coppery tone. Now, I don't know if that's exactly the way that you would describe it, but it looks more copper to me. I feel like it looks similar to the swatch from ColourPop. When I was looking through my collection, I did swatch a few different palettes to try to find this color. I feel like if I wouldn't, if I would have gone into the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, I could have probably found this tone like a lot easier, but I wanted to stick to primarily like four different eyeshadow palettes, and I feel like this one was kind of close. So is it exact? It may not be exact, but this is like one of those colors that I always tell you guys, this is a topper shade. You usually put this like on top of other eyeshadows to do like that bling, you know? And uh, do they have to be like exactly the same to look the same? Sometimes they don't. And even if this one's off by a hair, you may not be able to tell. So I feel like I have it at the end of the day, whether it's exact or not, I'm probably gonna be able to mimic a look that'll be very similar using this color. Okay, so now the next tone. I did swatch a few different palettes and I wanted to get this one more accurate because if I went into this palette right here from Huda Beauty, the Mob Obsessions, and I jump into this color, which would be the one I think most people would say looks the same. When swatched, this color got too pink than I wanted it to. I wanted to lighten it up. I didn't want it to be so pink, you know? So grabbing this tone here on the top and mixing them both together, putting down the dark hue first and then mixing a little bit of the light one on top I was able to come up with a color that I feel looks very similar to the ColourPop one. Now, it's a pretty tone. I've told you guys in the past, like, pink is not, like, a color that I gravitate to. I hardly ever wear pinks. Like, it's just not my color. And pinks with purples, it, it it's just, just not this pink. This is not my type of pink with purples. So, now, the next one I actually really, really like. I really like this color and I feel like it's this color on its own in the Mauve Obsessions. If you guys have this palette, it looks very similar to this one. Like looking at the swatch and seeing it swatched, I'm like, okay, well this is gonna look kind of similar. And I really love this color. It has a more cool tone, light look. I like the way that that looks on top of purples more than pinks. So I do really like that color. I feel like I have that one. So that's another one that I'm like, hmm. As you guys can see, I'm like halfway through here and I'm like referencing a lot to here. And I'm looking at this color story and saying it's not exact, but we've got a few hues in here that I actually like, that I actually like and I like to put together. So I'm looking at the Mauve Obsessions and saying, I may have you. So the next color, I actually had to jump into Marvelous Mauves from Dose of Colors and it's actually this second color right here. This looks super, super similar to the ColourPop one. And I actually was thinking, I don't own this color. Like, I don't remember ever buying like this type of very lilac-y shade. And when I opened up the palette again, I go, oh my goodness, I have forgotten that I had these colors in this palette. And I kind of started thinking like, I should be using this a little bit more. I mean, I kept it for a reason. I didn't want to declutter it because I felt like I paid too much for it and I really wanted to use it. And I'm starting to see like this color story mixed a little bit with this color story are kind of just like really giving me the vibe. So the next one, I actually did have to go into the Paris edit again, and I grabbed this tone right here. And guys, I feel like this is where I 
this is where I feel like they may have been a little bit repetitive because this tone in the Paris edit did match a lot closer to the swatch that I saw from ColourPop. Between this color here and this color here and this color here, literally those three colors, they're very, very close. That is a problem that I have with this palette. I always used to say that when I use this palette, I felt like all the look kind of just like look like one shadow at the end. Like I didn't feel like this had a good dimension of color variance. And there is a few tones in here that I think is doing the same thing that once you start applying it, I feel like you're just gonna be like, my look just my look just ended up like straight up like lilac purple, the whole thing. So I almost feel like this is like a similar, it's, it's feeling a little bit similar. The only thing that I feel like that has a little bit of a difference here is they are giving you like those shiny metallics that could obviously change an entire look. So we have one left and the last one I actually say to Marvelous Mobs again and it's this color right here and this one just looks very similar as well. It is a more white but it has that purple to it. It's like a purpley white, very cool color but and that's the color I have like basically all over my lid. So after kind of like looking at this whole palette and like just getting an idea of the color story, swatching it all together, seeing my results and figuring everything out, I honestly can tell you guys right now, straight off the bat, I am making up my mind right now to say I am not gonna be purchasing this palette from ColourPop. I do like it, but I will say, I mean, at the end of the day, between this palette, oh my goodness, I keep sticking my finger in this one, but between these two palettes, I literally have a very similar color story to this one. I feel like if you don't have like that mauve color story, this might be like the perfect palette to go out and grab because it is really pretty. But the only complaint that I would have just based off of what I'm swatching is I feel like it's gonna have a similar problem to this one that when you use it, you're gonna feel like, ah, I wish there was more deepening shades in here to really give me a real strong definition. I feel like they may have left out maybe a few deepening shades that I really think are important. So, I mean, I'm happy I did this one because when I saw this one released, the first thing that popped in my head was, Christina, you don't have purples. But then I had to say, wait a minute, Christina, you don't have purples, but you have mobs. And when I went through my collection, I definitely had this palette. So I wanna know from you guys down below, what did you make up your mind on it? Did you guys wanna buy this palette? Are you guys like, no, I do not need it? Leave me those comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. There's a few other palettes that I wanna start doing some make up your minds on. I'm trying to get everything in order with all the craziness that has been happening. I really am trying to follow through with doing one make up your mind per week. And I'm hoping to continue that. Of course, I do know that a lot of makeup companies are probably gonna be slowing down their release of new makeup, which completely makes sense. So if I'm not able to get a brand new release, um, make up your mind done, I will look into older releases and start doing some older releases for you guys. I do know you guys had a few requests on some older releases that you wanted me to look for. So you can go ahead and leave those down below again so I can like refresh in my memory of which are the ones that you guys wanted to see. Just in case we don't have any like real brand new stuff coming out for the next few weeks, I do wanna continue to do the series for you guys. So I would like to look at some older palettes and try to find them in my collection as well. Don't forget to leave all those comments down below. And yeah, if you guys have seen this entire video and you like me, hit the subscribe button so you can see me again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.